I have an EQ6 here. This is the older model that has the drives built in, but it just doesn't have the go-to. And it only has the Vixen rail instead of the Duo, like the new modern one. Hey guys, you know it's your best friend Joe, and this is Joey here, and welcome back to another episode of Joe Jaguar City Smartphone Astronomy, your best friend in astronomy and science. Well, I hope at least one of them. Okay, let's go take a look at this over here. As you guys know, I have an EQ6. Let me turn the phone around. Okay, so I ordered something on AliExpress. And I just got it in, so I wanted to show you, you guys this. This is a dual plate that's about six inches diameter. It's nice metal. I like the red color. I think they have like white, they got red, they got different colors, but I like the red. So here, here you go. The thumb screws are actually fairly large, so that's good. It feels pretty heavy too, so I was actually surprised. It's not like cheap or doesn't feel so cheap and thin and lightweight so i want to try to see i ordered one this was like 51 dollars a canadian and then i had about uh, 25 dollars shipping so uh, i was about 79 bucks uh yeah i believe 79 bucks canadian so i wanted to give this a try and see if it'll go on my mount so i'm not sure if you could see on the video but there's three type of Allen key screws over here and then three flathead screwdrivers. Um, so I'm hoping this will come off. This guy will take its place. There we go. I'm gonna put it on fast forward. Okay, so this is what the plate looks like. This is what the back looks like. Unfortunately, it's not what I was expecting. Let me show you guys. Okay, so it's kind of round. So this part here goes inside like that. So, so this guy here is flat. There's really nothing to mount it to over here. So it's, I was hoping it could just, uh, there was a couple bolts inside and I could have just screwed like one, two, three, four type of thing. And then there we go. But uh, that's not gonna work. So I think what I have to do is put this back on and then put And then put like a rail and then screw it to that right okay so on this Vixen rail we have this is uh, exactly six inches as well it has three holes one in the middle two on either end it lines up perfectly with this top one the bottom and the one directly in the center so let me figure out what kind of screws I have that will fit that. And uh, once I do, I'll uh, come back. Okay, so unfortunately, I noticed that these screws on this Vixen rail isn't actually threaded. It's mostly just a hole. So I just put a nut and bolt. It does stick out a bit. I could always cut that off, uh, but I, don't think it's going to matter because we looked and these that mount actually goes in between these two so it should be fine the middle one is actually threaded so i'm gonna put one here just for extra security i'll show you guys on the mount how it looks oh, yeah that's nice and tight so let's go check it out 
Okay, just move the mount a little bit on the side. So as I was saying, these screws still, as you can see. So as you can see, those screws go out and they don't interfere with anything. So what's nice also about this thing here, you could actually flip, you could have the screws on this side or you can twist it and lock it. You could have the uh, screws on that side. But anyway, let's just put it there and screw it down. So all I have to do here is just the original two locking nuts, just lock them down. Oh yeah. Holy, yeah, okay. Nice and tight. Looks pretty good, feels pretty good. So that's what it looks like. We put, here is the William Optics 126 millimeter and it has the Lozmandis plate on it already. So we can just put that down. So what I was thinking is these two nuts are nice and well, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that looks better? Now maybe what I should do, I was thinking, is on this side, maybe put one big nut or hand nut or something. That way, in case these slip, in case uh, you don't tighten them too much, it's not going to fall out. So I think that would be good to have just in case. Yeah, that feels pretty solid. What do you guys think? Do you prefer that? So now I'm thinking of ordering a second one for the Takahashi TOA. Now over here, I just have a red Vixen rail. Uh, I don't have the Las Mandis one that it came with, unless I change do the same thing here. That was pretty easy. And if I get it in red, it matches, of course, the red lettering, the red Vixen bar. So maybe it'll kind of match a little bit if I get that red plate. But first I wanted to see if it worked on here before I bought two of them. And I guess it works, but I think I'm gonna want to put like a, a nice um, locking nut there just in case it slips because it's pretty heavy. But the EQ6 seems to be handling, handling it well. Now I know a lot of you guys would say you would never put that scope or that scope on a Vixen rail I really, I've been using it like that for a while and I haven't noticed anything. Anyway guys, that's it from me, Joe, your best friend, and Joey. Okay, okay, don't, don't be afraid. It's just a camera. Your best friend in astronomy. Anyway guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. If you guys are on the forums and if somebody's talked about a video if you wouldn't mind sharing it, uh, the link, or if you know anybody getting into the hobby, uh, share my channel. And also, I do have a members video, and I put up one video that only members can watch. Uh, that's one video a month. It's only 99 cents. You don't have to join if you don't want to, but it's practically, you can't get any cheaper, right? Anyway, guys, and that helps support the channel as well. And that's it. See you all next time. Why not you? Why not me? Say bye. Give them a kiss. There you go. Cheers. Okay, quick note. I did notice just by having this long Las Mandis bar plus this red new plate, it feels, I could tell there's more weight to it. That's for sure.